This is Abby Johnson with Webpro News coming to you from Chicago for SES. I'm joined right now by Michael Martin of Internet Marketing Incorporated. How are you? Not too bad. Yourself? Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, you you are our Android guy. Ah. So catch us up a little bit on what's going on with Android. Well, um, I think I spoke to Mike about it in PubCon where Droid came out, obviously in Verizon. Um, the next the next big phone, the phone I've been really waiting for um, coming out early in 2010 is the, the Sony Ericsson um, Xperia X10. Um, that phone is, is suffice to say, is amazing. Uh, and the fact that it'll be the first one with the Snapdragon processor, which is the first one that really will outspeed the iPhone 3GS. All right, well, well, tell us a little bit about your opinion, I guess, on where Google is going with their plans, with, with their phone, with all the things that they're, they're acquiring. Um, I realize that it is speculation, but just, just tell us because you are very familiar with the topic. Right. Yeah, I mean, there's been talk of a Google, quote unquote, phone for quite a while. Um, I've been dismissive of it for a while. There's a lot of confusion with Android and Google's affiliation. Um, and now it's, it's picking up, you know, uh, picking up again. Um, from what I've seen, there actually is, could be some substance to it, especially if you, not going on a conspiracy theory, but looking at the 50,000 foot overview of what Google's been doing. Um, and the fact that they just purchased uh, Gizmo 5, which is a VoIP, a VoIP service, and their um, intention to purchase white space. So thus combining that with a Google phone, the, the speculation putting those pieces together is the fact that they can um, back end all those service providers, the AT, I mean AT&T's, Verizon, and utilizing the white space and the VoIP service to have, and Google Voice for a true Google phone. Um, so that could be in the offering and speculation is in that, you know, maybe that could be what's offered at Google I.O. in 2010 to the participants like last year that they gave the, um, the Google Ion Android phone. Well, it seems like it fits. <laughs> hey, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I already made my uh, reservation to go there, so <laughs> hopefully that's the case. Well, good. Well, let's talk a little bit about the mobile market in general and, and what you are seeing in, in the coming year. Right. I mean, iPhone is obviously the, the far and away the leader. Um, and the Android market is growing as far as the percentage. Month over month, it actually is increasing while the iPhone is decreasing. But the numbers are still with the iPhone. Um, to developers, specifically to Android, there is grumbling in the fact that with Android, you have 24 hours to return it. And so there's, there's ways to hack it where you can put the app on your SD card and then re get, you know, refund and get the money back and then re reload that, that application. So a lot of the, the developers for Android are not really seeing the, that revenue. So the, the hope is that you know, Google really refines the Android market while the other markets out there as well because it's not just Android market that they you know, refine their services to really you know, get that payback. But most of the developers are in it because of the love and the fact that, you know, truth be told, that it's not Apple. <laughs> okay, very good. Well, since, um, since, since mobile is so big right now and marketers obviously need to embrace it, what tips do you have specifically for marketers in embracing it? Yeah, I mean, it's, it, right now what really works is like call to action. Um, like the, the best ads, uh, uh, interestingly, uh, that, that appear on applications are pizza, pizza ads that do, do very well because it's just, you know, yeah, I'm playing my game and then click on a call and you know, call Papa John's. Mm -hmm. um, so going forward, um, my, my feeling is with, you know, social media, mm -hmm. the evolution of, you know, say, you know, Foursquare and Looped, the fact that, you know, the next social media trend is location-based and thus with that advertising, location-based advertising. Mm -hmm. Thus it's a direct conversion. If you're walking down the street near a certain restaurant, all of a sudden your phone pops up, you know, a coupon. But then again, you have to weigh the uh, annoyance of it and the limited real estate. Right. So that's, that's, the, that's the missing piece that needs to be figured out. All right. Well, hopefully somebody will figure it out soon. <laughs> well, thank you for having me, Abby, and I hope uh, we get back with the uh, snowstorm hitting us here in Chicago. Absolutely. Me too. Thank you very much, Mike. This is Abby Johnson reporting for Webpro News from Chicago for SES.